G-Seram ZF Zirconia Porcelain Powder is a natural feldspathic porcelain powder used in porcelain crowns and bridges with zirconium oxide and lithium desilicate substructure. G-Seram provides ease of use for the technicians who know its physical properties and aesthetic performance as well as for the technicians who will use it for the first time. G-Seram ZF Zirconia Porcelain Powder shows high color stability even in various porcelain thicknesses. It is recommended to use G-Seram Zirconia Porcelain Powder with materials which have a thermal expansion coefficient range of 11.0 to 11.6 microns. During CAD design stage of crowns and bridges, attention should be paid to ensure that the zirconia substructure thickness should be minimum 0.5 mm for single crowns and 0.8 mm for bridges. In order to avoid the fracture risk of porcelain crowns and bridges, the ceramic layer should be between minimum 0.8 mm and maximum 2 mm excluding the cervical areas. The application of wash dentine is recommended to ensure a strong bonding of zirconium substructure to porcelain powder, to support the base shade of the substructure with insufficient porcelain thickness or with color problems, and to obtain the required color intensity. First, mix the G-Seram ZF base dentin powder with modeling liquid and obtain a watery consistency. Apply the mixture very thinly to the dry and clean substructure and provide its homogeneity to the small vibration movement. Before starting the build-up process, it is very important to polish the model with a ceramic separating liquid. By this way, the porcelain material is prevented from drying or sticking to the model during build-up. To obtain color transitions and stability, apply the base dentin zirconia powder as a thin layer to the entire surface in the reduced tooth size.
During dentin buildup, main mamelons are determined and the thin mamelon structures observed in the symmetrical teeth are imitated with the help of a brush. Then incisal modifier blue, incisal modifier orange, I2 and transparent layering is applied to these mamelons according to the shape observed in the symmetrical coat. The chrome is removed from the model. Necessary porcelain powders are applied to the missing areas and the deficiencies in the cervical area are corrected. Clean the surface of the model with a dry and large brush and provide a homogeneous surface so that the porcelain is prevented from moving away from the margin lines. Lastly, porcelain powder inside the crown is cleaned with a wet brush. 
Then fire the first dentine according to G-Seram ZF zirconia firing chart. After the first dentine firing, the crown is placed onto the model. Contact areas are determined with the help of an articulation paper and the crown is placed onto the model by correcting and shaping the required places. After all correcting and shaping processes are completed, the model should be cleaned with steam. The second build-up process is started with the dentine in the cervical area. The anatomical form of the symmetrical tooth is imitated by using I2 transparent and transparent porcelain powders on the mesial, distal and incisal areas. The most important point here is, the built-up crown should be slightly larger than the symmetrical tooth as the crown should be large enough to allow you to correct and shape it after the second firing.
After the build-up process is completed, the crown is removed from the model and necessary porcelain powders are applied to the missing areas. Then fire the second dentine according to G-Seram ZF zirconia firing chart. After all correcting and shaping processes are completed, the chrome should be cleaned with steam. Mix G-Serum Low Glaze Powder with Glaze Liquid. When the desired consistency is achieved, 
a thin layer of glaze is applied on the crown so that the surface structures are not destroyed. Then fire according to G-Ceram ZF Zirconia firing charts. 